Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to download and I'm not going to show you how to install it because installing is kind of easy. How to download Log Me and Hamachi. Um, I'm doing this for one user in particular and that would be uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go by his Blue Sage name uh, like his second YouTube name, his main YouTube that would be Blue Sage 485 finally looked that up and I'm trying to me memorize it so let me just drag the page over here and yeah I have a dual monitor set up now um, so you have to download right here but I'm gonna, just going to show you how to download it like where to download it so you go into your internet click Google search wait for it type in ha ma chi and for some reason it skipped out my H and I did type an H I definitely did type type in an H so then from here like you don't even have to hit the search but if you want to you can uh, you have to click the second one right here so click and notice it will bring you to the same exact page that I was at um, so you can do unmanaged or managed um, I did unmanaged because uh, you can do like anywhere like because look that one says create an account and this one says download I think this one you have to pay for which I don't want get out of here uh, sorry I have more pages open on my dual monitor so it's probably a little bit more laggy so you, you click con terms and conditions make sure that's checked right there and you click download and there you go now you have Hamachi. Now all you have to do from here, this is just like installing Java and stuff like that. Um, I'm pr pretty sure everyone knows how to install like uh, just like anything. Stuff is easy to install. So what I would do from here is just go to open and then it'd say, would you like to modify? Would you like this program to modify stuff on your computer? I click yes and install and boom, got it done. Now let me go ahead and open it here. It says. Norton says it's safe. Norton sucks. So um, here's Hamachi. As soon as you, as soon as it's done installing, it should open it up. And it's always minimized. Like you can hit the X, and you can. It's always up and running. So it's always there, and you can always restore it whenever you want. Now these are all the networks I am in. This is my own network right here. And as you can see, nobody is online. Let's see if I can find one that is this one okay so this person is online so if I wanted to I could right click go to and chat and message this person although I don't know who it is because um, I know hooked on MC but I don't know any of, I know that person too but I don't know any of the others so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the minimize so because they're scrolling on this is really messed up and then he has a second one so basically I'm gonna show you how to also join a network and create a network so if, first of all, say that you don't want to be tracked like this because uh, if I was being tracked, uh, like I'm being tracked right now, like it says that I am online right there, um, I could go ahead and hit this little button right there and I can't join any other network. Say that I want to join a server, I can't. You have to click that again and it'd be just like you're restarting your computer. It would do this when you're restarting your computer and just wait, just wait for it. Just wait. I'm sorry. Just wait. Okay. There we go. Okay, so it's now back online. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, if you're saying, now, where is the IP for my server? Well, your IP is right here. So if you just right, if you just left click or right click, it's going to say the same thing. So I like the left click. And if you do go to copy IP v4 address and I'm just gonna paste it in here say that you go into Minecraft and you wanna paste it as like without just wording it like having it up right next to it and typing it in uh, you just hit control and V and it instantly types it in for you so that's something useful to know so I think it also work as copy copy IP address 6 so control V Okay, yep, yeah, I understand what that one is. Um, that one copies this one right here. So copy IP address 4 is what you want. <coughs> Sorry about that. I didn't wake up 
too long ago, and I can't be too loud today because my mom and my sister are sleeping upstairs. That's awesome. So now let's go into the network stuff. So you can either create a network or join an existing network. Now you see down here that I can only have one more person, and I have an explanation point. So if you want to join a network, like if you have your friend, if your friend has a network and you want to join it, you type in their ID, and this is their ID, the very thing right here. So Actually, I think I might want to go into create network first. So, you have to create a network ID, so I could do like track 7, because that was my original thing. And then I could do like, uh, I am dumb. And then I can create. And I'm not going to do it, because it simply just create another one, and then everybody would join it and it get full within like a second or something like that as soon as I upload it so I'm gonna hit cancel or should I create it because I think I can remove it I'll create it and there we go now I have this right here which there's no one joined in it and I just put it offline so there we go it's back online so people would just go to join existing network track 7 and then I am dumb password rejected I am dumb see I, if you own this network you're already a member of it so I already own this but if you wanted to join it that's what you type in in so you could it's the same thing with your friends they tell your network ID tell you the password and you can join it um, so if you really want to join mine uh, and you just got this you can go ahead and join mine I don't care um, yeah and also with this uh you guys if you join my network you blah, 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 you will be able to see my name uh like the name of this computer and so far it's labeled Brandon cuz that's my actual name and it will say Brandon HP and this one like this one says Jonathan cuz that's Lego man 9522's name and he is online right now so it'd be the same for me say that said Brandon HP if this was green, it means I'm online. If it's blue, it means I'm, I'm starting my computer. If it's yellow, it means my computer is locked. And if it's like this one, it means that my computer is completely off. So, yep, just wanted to teach you everything. Uh, just in case you guys were wondering, I, I did that. So, I guess I will talk to you guys later. See ya.